Last year, under rookie head coach Scott Hall, the Butler softball team won 32 games and reached a league tournament final. Now in Hall's second year, the Bulldogs return the league's top pitcher and plenty of veterans. The goal is clear. Butler is aiming to win the Horizon League Championship. We really have one main goal, and that's to win the conference. Um, something that hasn't been done here, obviously. Um, with the, the amount of returners that we have, um, our expectations are, are fairly high. Um, you know, as far as our personal goals. We want to win the Horizon League. I, I, we have the team, we have everything to win. And we just, that's been our ultimate goal from the beginning and we just are working so hard for it. You know, our expectations and goals don't, haven't changed from last year, you know. We made it obvious at the beginning of the year, like, you know, our one goal is to win, you know, Horizon League tournament. And I don't think that expectation changes any year. I think that's what, you know, everybody strives to do. So, I mean, I think, of course, it's realistic. Like, we were, like you said, we were so close last year, so it's not like it's far off. Hall came to Butler last year after building a winning high school program. He says year number two in college softball has been smoother and should result in on-field success. Um, last year it was just take it as it comes, okay, here's something else to do, you know, but now just settling in and, and knowing what to expect and things just kind of flow a little smoother this year for us, definitely. Jenny Esparza returns after being named Horizon League Pitcher of the Year last season. As far as already owns Butler's strikeout records and has won 18 games in each of her first two years. She struck out 268 batters last season and was named all Midwest region. Still, Esparza knows she has room to improve. I definitely just want to cut down on my walks and just get all my pitches to be nice and sharp and clean break and um, just lead my team to more victories. Obviously it starts on the mound with Jenny Esparza. Um, you know, conference pitcher of the year last year, uh, had an amazing conference tournament. Uh, so everything kind of starts with her. Um, and we've really expressed to the team that we have got to support her at the plate. We've got to get her some runs. Um, last year we had uh, way too many games that just came down to one run and it was on her shoulders to keep them from scoring. Um, you know, so we've, we've got to do a better job of making her innings less stressful. Sparza is in Butler's only option. Leah Bry is a sophomore right-hander who started seven games last season. In addition, Butler has Brianna Fisher, another pitcher with experience, and two freshmen who can pitch. We are really expecting huge things out of Leah Bry. Plus, she's a, just a blast to be around. Good kid, uh, good-natured, funny. Um, really, is the comedian of the of the group. So, uh, but we really need her to be able to focus once she steps in the circle. Um, she's really got to pick it up this year because we can't we can't throw Sparza every game. Falkenberry may be the Horizon League's top returning slugger. The senior smacked 13 homers and drove in 43 runs last year. She already has a school record 32 career home runs. Falkenberry says the key to success may be getting on base rather than clearing them. I'm really working on being consistent. Like I would take a higher batting average, you know, more singles and doubles, get on base more for fewer home runs if that's what's the case. Like I would love to have both, but. Um, I would rather be more consistent and get on base more for my team rather than just, you know, a weekend here where I hit a few home runs. Alkenberry isn't the only weapon returning for Butler. In addition to the first baseman, BU has returning standouts all over the infield. Kayla Gray has moved to third base. Megan Sullivan is a 288 hitter and will return at second. And Kristen Boros is likely to play short. Senior Mallory Winters is back behind the plate after catching 44 games last year. And in the outfield, Lauren McNulty and Jessica Huey are returning starters in the corner spots. Two freshmen, Angelique Zadrozny and Sarah Granowski, will play center field. McNulty, uh, Huey, uh, all of those guys, uh, Mallory behind the plate, AC, uh, just a bunch of these kids that uh, we're expecting huge senior seasons out of. With as many pieces as Butler has in place, there may be some type of a bullseye on the back of the Bulldogs. The expectations are new for the program, but they are a welcome challenge for Scott Hall's team. You want to be in the conversation. Um, otherwise, uh, what are we doing? Uh, I mean, it's 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 nice to be included in that conversation, but ultimately we want to be the conversation at the end of the year, uh, holding the trophy. So um, we knew expectations would be high coming in uh, with the the way, especially we we finished the season last year.